Welcome you guys to this video tutorial brought to you by Z Tutorials on how to use Camtasia Studio 7 and edit videos on it. Now you, you if you don't have Camtasia you need to buy it or at least download the free trial. The free trial is here from textmit.com forward slash Camtasia. Download the free trial if you like it which I presume you will because it is a great program then you can buy it. Now, once you did all that, just open up Camtasia and it's going to have this little welcome thing. Record a screen, record a voice, narration, record PowerPoint or import media. We're just going to close that dialog box and we're going to click on the import media right here. Now, if you don't have a video, record one and you can mess around with it. We want this create a website part one in. So we just click on open on that and we're going to click and drag that onto the timeline. Very easy. That's very, very easy. It's going to ask you what size do you want your video to be? I'm uploading mine to YouTube and I want it to be in HD. So I'm going to click on 1280 by 720 YouTube HD. That's going to give you 12, 720p video, which is HD, but the lower standard HP. So it's not too hard on the internet. So it's very, very easy and it'll load quickly. So basically you're going to have this little video here. Now I don't want to start this video because I messed up. So I'm going to bring the timeline to where I want it to um, end or start and I'm going to click on the green button and drag it back. Now basically where it's highlighted there that means I'm going to be editing that part right there. I'm going to cut that out completely and there we go right here. Now right here about 25 seconds in I want to delete the rest of it just for the purpose of this video. So I just do the exact same bring the timeline back to there and it's exactly the same. Bring the timeline back to there and click and drag it to where you want to delete. All the highlighted stuff you're going to delete. Click on cut and there I have my 25 second movie. Now I want to put two movies together. So I go back into import media. Look at what I want to create. I have part one so I might as well put in part two. And I'm going to click and drag that into the timeline. Now once again we have the same problem. It's very very long. It's nearly 10 minutes. I only want the start of this video about, uh, we'll say 30 seconds. So I'm going to grab and delete all of that right there. Cut it out, completely cut it out. So now I have about 10, 10, 10 15 seconds of that second movie there. Now it is very small, so we're just going to zoom it in so we can be more precise with all our editing. And now we have a nice big timeline right here. So first things first, everyone wants to know how to zoom in. That is the most important thing pretty much to do with Camtasia is the zooming in. Now, if I click play here, my video is just after opening up and talking and I want to show people this website right here, but they can't see it. So I want to zoom into that. So I click on zoom and pan and I click on this little two arrow thing on going directional. So I just drag that over and as you can see in my preview, that's what it'll look like. So I want it to look perfectly like that. That is a nice size for me, maybe a tiny bit smaller. There you go. Now, when I click play there, as you can see, it zooms in nice and slowly. Now, you can have it slow and fast. You can have it instantly. As you can see here, duration. Click it faster, click it slower. If you have it instant, I will warn you right now, it doesn't look good. Just watch right now, it's gonna like jump into it. People don't really know where you're gone, if you get me. If you zoom in nice and slow, people know what's happening. I recommend a second. I think a second is absolutely perfect for it. As you can see here, it zooms in fast, but you can still know where you're zooming into. The viewer knows what you're doing. Now, just as I zoomed in there, I want everything around this to be completely black and I just want this free CSS templates to be highlighted. Everything else to be black around it. So basically all you do is you go to callouts, click on where you want it, of course, on your timeline. This is basically the main thing of it. Click on this little downward button and you're gonna click on special and spotlight. Spotlight is basically, as you can see here, it'll give you a little spotlight on what you want to do. So I just want this little box right here, the address. I don't want anything else highlighted, just want the address. So I just click on that. And as you can see, my spotlight is highlighted, but it's way too long. I don't want it that long. I want it only small and short. I want it about, 
four seconds, maybe three seconds. Three seconds, we'd say. So now, when I click play on that, it's going to zoom in and it's going to highlight it like that. So people know that that's what they're meant to go to. It's very, very important that you know how to do that. Now, I want to zoom back out, so I'm just going to zoom out there quickly. But I also want people to know right from the start that I made this video. So I'm going to go into callouts and I'm going to click on just this plain filled rounded corner. And it's going to give me this little dialog box. Now it's in white. You can change the color in fill. You can change the border in fill. So we're just going to have the fill in black. Fill in black. And we're going to have the border in, we'll say, this color here, a bit of a yellow. And we're going to write inside there, Z tutorials because that's who made it now as you can see it's in black you can't see it so we're just going to change that to white there really quickly and we're going to make a bold why not now it is too big we're going to make it nice and small about that size so that's perfectly sized for that and we're going to put it right here we'll say just up there nice and nicely up there and we want this to go the whole way through the movie so we just click on that click and drag it to the very very end just like we did before. Click and drag it to the very, very end. Now we want the exact same thing here, so we're gonna add a call out on the next movie, because as you can see, it stops there. So we want it to put, we want it to be put in there as well. So we just add that call out, and we just click and drag that to the end of the timeline. And write in Z tutorials again. So now we have that little logo going the whole way through the movie, and it's very, very easily done. Now, I'm about here in the video and I want people to click on the home button here as you can see. So I'm not even going to zoom in, I'm just going to go into callouts and I'm going to go into this arrow right here. Now this arrow will bring up this little red arrow right here, you can change the color of that as well. And we're going to rotate it on the green and we're going to have it facing that way, we're going to have it pretty long and we're going to have it there. So that means that when people play, that little thing will turn up in slow motion and they're going to know that they're meant to click on home. But I want it to end there. I want it to end about there. I don't want it to be that long. So you can just mess around with that yourselves. You know what you want yourselves. Now I'm going to go on to transitions. Now transitions is very important if you have two movies together like I do here. As you can see, it just flicks between movies. But the viewer won't know it's after flicking. They'll be like, wait a minute, what's this here now? I was out watching one movie and now it's on to another one. So you want them to know that it's gone on to another one. So you click on the transitions logo, right? And it's going to bring up this little thing here. You have a load of options. Just click on cube rotate, rotate. That's what I'm going to be using. And you click and drag it to the transition box. Now there's loads of transition box. That's if you've got multiple movies open and you can do different kinds of transitions between them. I'm just going to click on that one and I'm going to click OK and I'm going to go into zoom and pan again. So it'll bring me back to this. And as you can see, this little Q rotate has been brought into it. When we click play, it's going to rotate like that into Z tutorials, my other video. So now people know that they're in the other video and it's very easy. It's just pretty much what I wanted. I don't want it changed anymore. Now, if you can hear, I don't know if you can. My voice is a bit creaky in that one. So I want to change the audio. What you want to do in every single video, as you can see, look how much that voice is fluctuating there. It's going up and down and all around. I want it to be level. So I'm going to click on that button. Now look at the timeline. And as you can see, it made it nice and level there. You can edit around with this with a high volume variation, a medium volume variation, a low volume variation. We're going to leave it on medium because that sounds perfectly good. You can also put on enable noise removal, which basically gets rid of all the background noise. Uh, very, very good tool as well. Uh, that's all we have time for today, guys. Sorry about that. If you want a title clip, put in that as well. Very easy. You'll figure that out yourself. Next video, I'm going to be showing you how to produce and share your video onto YouTube and to YouTube HD, actually. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe and help me out, guys. Leave a comment on how you got on and if you have a problem, and I will answer it best I can. Brought to you by Z Tutorials.